Greetings, ladies and gentlemen and survivors all. Welcome to my Minecraft Developer Snapshot Test Drive. This is for version 13W. What 8B out today, May 2nd, 2013. It's on Mojang.com. I'll put a link down below if you want to give it a try. And we are starting... Stop laughing at me, Goldie. You think this is so funny now? Yeah. We're going to start here at my old testing grounds because there's some changes now to uh, the horse gear, the saddles and the armor. And as you can see here, I've got a horse all decked out in lovely golden armor. He thinks it's a big old laugh riot now that we can't craft it anymore. Go ahead, laugh. Laugh for the good people. Ha 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 ha. So funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to get the last laugh when I ride you off a cliff, you jerk. Anyway, so yeah, there's no more horse saddle. It's been replaced by the regular old pig saddle. These old guys that we've gotten to know and love and found in dungeon chests, and that's pretty much um, what we're going to be used to using now. There's no longer a, hor a craftable horse um, saddle. Uh, same goes with horse armor. Now, we used to be able to craft this. Well, in the old snapshot, anyway. Um, can't do that anymore. Now it's only found in horse uh, in horse chests, in dungeon chests. Uh, apparently, dungeon chests are now more common. And in fact, we're gonna I'm going to show you that we uh, we can find dungeon chests now inside nether fortresses. So, ha ha ha, so, so, so funny. See, now I do get the last laugh. So there you go. Pig saddle on a horse. It's a horse. And we can ride off cliffs. 13W18B testing grounds. And let's take a look. We now have, um, well, the hay bales was added in the in, uh, previous snapshot but it is now craftable it wasn't before it's just a bunch of wheat all nine wheat and we have lead and leash is now craftable as well it's a bunch of string and some slime balls just like that that's the arrangement in the crafting table by the way and you get two leads let's give it a try mr snorty over here is all tied up and ready ready to rumble aren't you okay well you just stand right there pal because i'm going to cook about 64 of your little friends yes 64 raw raw <laughs> raw pork chop say that 64 times fast all right so cold block this is new it's a buildy thing and you can you can build it with it it's pretty and uh we make it like so nine coal bam block of coal and you can cook with it too that one block well, I'm not ready to rumble, but when I when I am, I'll let you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss you in this furnace if you keep it up. You see the sword now? All the animals are picking on me today. What's up with that? That will literally cook 72 pieces of stuff in your furnace, and I think the max you can even put in there though is only 64, right? So you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to. Uh, whoops, pro. Yeah, I'm pro, all right. Can't even spell pork. You're going to have to sit here and babysit it. Yeah, max 64. But uh, as you would expect, nine pieces of coal would do 72 items individually and therefore a block of coal. Stop looking at me. It's not, it's not funny. You're going, in the, you're going in the furnace. You're going in. There you go. Hmm. Laugh at me, will you? Okay. Uh, comparator. Is checks the water level now in cauldrons and provides power, um, like so. So we have a full, a full uh, cauldron here. Nobody ever uses cauldron except for me, that I know of. I just like the look of the cauldron. I always use it near my, my potion brewing stands rather than have like a water spring, infinite water spring. It's just cool. It's just the way it should be. If I were a witch, I would definitely have a cauldron. I wish I were a witch because I'd have a cauldron instead of an infinite water spring. But anyway, so now we've got a full cauldron provides. Um, three blocks of power and then as you can see here this is one one bottle removed so two-thirds full and it goes out two blocks one-third full or I guess one-third well two-thirds empty depending on how you look at it right and uh, that'll provide one block of power and then of course when it's empty you got nothing no juice in the tank as they say who says that anyway I don't know Lava decay fixed. Oh, oh, who dropped? Somebody dropped something. I got it. I got it. Um, and watch this. So I've got some lava in here. Right? Press that button. Now, this has been a long time coming. It's about time. Thank you, dinner bone. And we and it comes down and it fills up my little bath here. Anybody want a bath? 
piggy? Do I get any piggies in here? I got, I got no piggies. Uh, chickens. Chickens love baths. They're all so dirty. Where's, where's you at, chickens? There we go. Come on, take a bath. Go ahead. Go in there. How is it? Check the water for me. Check the water level. Might be a little hot. Yeah, a little hot. All right, I'll, I'll adjust that. So anyway, yeah, if we uh, turn that off, that stops the flow, sucks it back up. And as you can see here, the lava will decay. And it, this is much faster than it used to be. Normally, this would take minutes, hours, days. And that will be gone within... 40 seconds? I don't know. I'm just guessing. There we go. Look at it. It's just going. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, still kind of hot in there, fellas. All right. So there you go. Lava decay. Pretty cool stuff. Now we have Chester now found in Nether Forts. Let's go. Scary. I, this is a really good seed, by the way, because check it out. Oh. Oh, wait. That's not the... Oh, I came over here to find another fort. Near the nether, I just built this whole new nether. Well, I had it generated for me. There's a fortress right there, but I didn't even... I took a right at Albuquerque instead of a left, and I found one over here. It's even farther away. Huh. Two nether fortresses. This seed just got even better. I was going to share it with you. There are, right next to spawn, up on the surface where my, um, my testing grounds is created, you will find at least three dungeons. This nether is brand new, so just follow along. As you can see, I've already marked the path. I did find a chest in here. And I'll show you the seed in a minute. And the three dungeons up on the surface. All the way over here. My first chest found in another fortress. Although this doesn't really qualify because of the test drive. And there was indeed gold. There is golden horse armor in here. I did not put that in there. And there's a saddle. Now I don't know if there's something in the code that says if you put horse armor, you must have a saddle. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. All right. I'll meet you back on the surface world. And we'll take a, a quick look at the seed again. No, no, you know what? No, we're not. I lied. I'm going to do a separate video as a seed. <laughs> Alright, I know. That's that's pretty lame. That's lame. Let me just show you the seed. There it is. But I will do a separate video anyway, and I'll show you all the locations. But Alright, that's pretty much it. I've got to go. It is late here, and I just... What the devil am I? Alright. <laughs> what? I'm half a pig and it's something else. What is that thing? How did this happen to me? Is that a cape? Wait a second. That's a cape. It's a... Is that a blaze cape? It's a fire? I have a pig face at my butt. Wait. Alright, let me get out of the nether. I want to go see if there's something going on with skins here, apparently. Oh, that's weird. Freak me out. Oh. I'm all, I'm all discombobulated. I'll meet you on the surface. Hang on. Okay. So now I'm freaking out. Now I'm some sort of slime guy. And I have... Um, whoops. Let's check that. What? I have no idea what's going on with that. So we'll just leave that alone for now. Uh, the zombies that make phone calls to friends... The social zombies, the Facebook zombies. Yeah, they, they, this doesn't happen anymore. It's been changed. Let's go to night. I mean, it still happens. Like when you punch one and it makes a phone call and calls a bunch of buddies to come over and, and help them out. It's, if you remember in the last snapshot I did, they were literally falling out of the sky. But uh, that doesn't happen anymore. And that it seemed a little bit overkill <laughs> for sure. Um, so just rest assured that that has been changed. It doesn't happen quite as often. I still don't know the science behind it, but it's it's obviously we don't have skeletons. Uh, we don't have zombies falling out of the sky, so that's a good thing. And so here's the dungeon here. There's one there. Of course, if I go in there now, that chest is already generated with an older snapshot, so it's not going to have horse armor. But uh, And then there's a couple of dungeons in the desert here as well. This is where I spawned, right here, I think, if I recall. It was in, in this general area. There's a, um, a town there. So this is a really nice little seed. Um, there it is again. Check it out. Have fun. And uh, I guess we'll see you all next time i'm out of here and i'm i'm gonna go s i'm gonna go see a doctor well said well said
Bring me to the doctor, please. I gotta go see a doctor. Where's the doctor? Help. So, let's just go back here a ways. Maybe this would pop out back on top. <gasps> oh my god, a dungeon! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, this is awesome! Oh, what are the odds? Alright, shut it down! Shut it down! Okay, come on now. Alright, you, you gotta do your finger crossing thing here for me, folks. We gotta do this. Cross them. Fingers, toes, eyeballs, mud flaps. Yeah! Oh yeah, name tag, just one. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, two. Do they stack? They stack. Fire protection, two. Oh my god, I'm just giddy. 